Hi, Caleb with Brownhouse here. Today we're going to be taking a look at the difference between a Series 70 and a Series 80 1911, and what those differences are, and how to pick parts whenever you get an aftermarket parts for each one. So let's jump right in. I will start by taking a look at the Series 80 because that'll be easier to show you the differences because they have extra parts. So starting with the slide, if you'll notice this one here versus this one here, in the rear of it, you'll notice that there's an extra piece, and that piece is the firing pin safety. Now, what this does is it doesn't allow the firing pin to go forward unless the trigger is pulled, because when you pull the trigger, it cams a piece in the lower, which we're about to take a look at, now the frame portion, and then it's going to press up against that plunger, and that plunger is going to allow clearance for the firing pin. So let's take a look at how it works in the frame. So on the frame, you'll notice on the right hand side of the disconnector, there's that arm that protrudes up. And that is what cams up and presses on that firing pin safety. So taking a look at the Series 70 frame, that's not there, it's just blank. Another piece that's also slightly different but can be modified to work is going to be your grip safety. There's an arm in the grip safety that pushes against the back of the trigger and allows clearance for the trigger when the grip safety is depressed. And it's a little bit larger on the Series 70 and it's cut on the Series 80, but you can take one for a Series 70 with some minor fitting, make it fit and work just fine in a Series 80. Now I will like to also note that you can convert a Series 80 to a Series 70. There's a few companies out there that make a filler that go in this slot right here so that your sear, because your sear is pressing up against it as well, and it, um, it tightens up your sear so that it's not walking back and forth if you take this part out. And then when you take that part out, all you need to do is remove the plunger from the slide completely and just leave the open hole there. Now it's been converted to a Series 70. Now, why would you want to do that? Um, the main reason being the trigger pull. The trigger pull weight is a little bit better on a Series 70 than a Series 80. Colt's competition guns, they have Series 80s um, that's, that still have the firing pin safety in them, and they developed a few workarounds for it, uh, as well as a few other companies. Um, but they add quite a bit of parts, and they can be a bit finicky sometimes. So, yeah, a lot of your older style, old school gunsmiths, um, people that prefer the older style guns like myself, we always lean towards the Series 70. Um, that being just because of the va historical value of it as, as far as not having the extra parts. And those parts were put in um, by certain legislations in different states, so uh, that's why they came about, um, out of necessity to be able to sell guns in those states. If you're going to be custom building a 1911, uh, chances are you're going to be building at Series 70. A lot of your custom high-end 1911 makers, they run Series 70 stuff. Um, so a lot of the parts you're going to buy are going to be specifically for Series 70. You can get the Series 80 stuff out there. Um, but for the most part, you're going to run into the Series 70, which is preferred by most people, uh, myself included. And that's really all there is to it as far as the differences go. Um, if you would like to add anything to that, feel free to add it below in the comment section. Or if you have any questions about building 1911 and, of course, any other firearm, give us a call on the tech line. We'll be happy to help you out. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time.